Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm. In this video we show you another goat birth. Our new steer calves are here. <laughs> Kelsey planned the goats to kid during their spring break, so all went according to plan. All the goats delivered, and we'll be showing you those videos here this week. This video starts out a little shaky. We woke up in the morning and I heard the goat laboring on the baby monitor. So I sent the, Maylee, our daughter, out there to check and see how things were going, and I ran out there with the camera. Kelsey was up all night checking every couple hours and was still in bed, so we had to yell for her to wake up. So it was a little, little uh, hectic there at the beginning, so that's the shaky camera work. Her first goat actually came out upside down and just head first so no feet so Kelsey's going to kind of talk through the process and how we managed to get the goat out so stay tuned and see how fawn did Babies come out bubble first and then maybe all this stuff. Okay, so here's where our first sign of trouble. Fawn's pushing out her baby, but he's coming out without his hands first. So he's face first, but no hands. And the little guy's upside down. So I needed to help her out. And first thing I wanna do is make sure baby can breathe. So we cleared off his nose a little bit. I'm gonna have to reach in and feel for baby's arms, his, his forelimbs to pull them out. So when I go in, I make sure I've got clean gloves on and I want to stay as close to the baby as possible. So I'm not putting any more pressure than I need to on mama as I'm going in, but I'm just reaching with one hand to try and find where baby's legs are. So if I can hook a leg and pull it out, then baby will come out. <laughs> You grab the feet. May stand over here and push on her side so she doesn't. So I got one leg here in baby's head, and I'm trying to find that second foot. There it is. Now baby can come out. It's still a weird position though. So I'm gonna be careful baby doesn't break his back on the way out. There we go. There we go. Good job, Fawn. Oh, good job, Fawn. Push it out, nice and good. Good. I think so. Yep. And at this point, I'm realizing something else must be a problem because baby should have slid right out by now. So I'm pulling not too hard that I'm going to cause any damage to baby, but. Yeah, I can see it moving. Oh, okay. 
Come on, Mama Doe. Do. Push it. Next push pull out. Yes, you it. almost got it, Mama. You just gotta let the feet out. I don't want to dislocate me. I'm pulling hard. That is a big baby. I'm starting to think I might need to do some more intervention to help this one come out. So I'm going to reach in and see if I can find where the problem is. All right, so I asked Maylee to hold the baby while I reach in and try and unhook whatever's stuck. So she's such a good helper. <laughs> and Fawn wasn't making it easy. You're okay. I'm still holding this sucky thing. Give Dad the sucky thing. Bring her over here. I'll lock her between my legs. Come on, Fawn. She's upside down. Yes. Watch out so she Fawn can come through. <laughs> Baby. I got you, baby. I don't know. You got baby, I'm letting go. Yep. Upside down, they're trying to turn it. But once I got my fingers in there, I could feel his like his knees were hooked inside her pelvis. There you go. So I needed to help either push it back straight or pull it through. And I was able to pull it through. Pull it. Pull it. Come on. not twisting too much. Right? <laughs> yeah. There's a second one trying to come out at the same time. Or is that his leg? That's a head. It's a head? Oh my god. <laughs> You're going to have to pull it. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's, there a knee. You go. it's a knee. Yeah. So All right. Thinking. Good. All right. Good mama. Oh, Jack. My legs are here, Fawn. Don't you dare. Look what you did, Mama Doe. <sighs> Gonna need to wash your coats. Whew, that's a relief. I was pretty nervous with this one. Last year, Fawn had a buckling that came out face first and forward, you know, facing the right way, but no hands. And the baby was stuck and died, and I had to pull it out. And so I was really hoping this little guy would yeah, make it. I did have to pull pretty hard on him, but the little guy's just fine now. And so is Mama. That was... Please never have an upside down baby again, Fawn. <laughs> Perfect. Just like half of that. Okay, thank you, Hayden. Yes, you good mama fawn. You have a baby. No, so. Oh, there comes another. Towel. Towel, Ivan. Towel. 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 Towel.
So the baby came out head first. He had to reach in. No hand. Upside down. Reach in and grab hooves. And it was upside down. His leg was stuck, too. Like, on her. The back leg was stuck. It's a good thing the baby goats are so flexible. Yeah, piles of bones. Where's your babies, Holly? There's somewhere. She's like, there's somewhere. Is it a boy or a girl? I think it's a boy. Give me straighten his legs out. So these normal legs stick like that, and then your other ones. That works. See a hoof. Two feet. Is it coming out not upside down? I think it's coming out the right way. Yay! Comes the face. Good girl, fun. Good girl. That's the way. Oh, it's big. Oh, it came right out. Good job. Good girl, fun. Two babies. Here. Do this sucky thing. You guys give it to me way too fast. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Jeez, look at that thing go. <laughs> she couldn't get out of it. It's a boy. Enough. It's probably a boy. Yeah, I think it's a boy. All right. I need a different towel. Get a different towel. It's like a plastic melted on it or something. Now I can do the sucky. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> What'd you do, Fawn? I bet those are both boys, and then she'll have another one that's a girl. Seems or she'll just have this year. Or she'll just have two. I'm pretty sure that the second one was a boy. I yeah. thought I saw testicles. I thought I saw nuts on the first one on the way. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw nuts on the first one. This is not a good year for does. <laughs> I'll make up for it. Well, well, she's getting wrong. She's pushing. Yeah, she's pushing. Okay. This one's fine. Okay. Can you hold that way? Yep. What a good job, Fawn. Fawn and Jimmy's first babies. Oh yeah, Jimmy's a dad. Oh, Jimmy. Look at these guys will grow gray hair like their dad. <laughs> I'm so sad they didn't come out with little puffs on their heads. <laughs> Neither did Jimmy. I know, but if they did, that would just be so fun. It would be. Quite like Jimmy. Oh, I love cream colored goats. Oh, oh it is. Is. If it's an, is it a boy? It's a Jimmy. I swear if it's a boy. If that's a girl, we have to keep it. Good job, Mama Doe. That was a flip box. Wow. It's just Look, like it's another one. Just like my brother. You did it again. You made so many babies. Oh. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, if she does that. Are you sure that first one has nuts? I'm not exactly sure. She does look very small compared to these two, though. She is the troublemaker. Actually, this one might be a boy. I mean, a girl. I can't tell. I'm pretty sure I saw nuts in the mess yeah, when it tumbled too. out. <laughs> me too, but. Wow. A mini Jimmy. A little Jimmy. You will be a million dollars. Call him JJ, Jimmy Jr. <laughs>
trying to decide if it's Starla or Moira making that noise. It's probably Moira. <laughs> but triplets, these are our first triplet news. Triplet news? It's all triplets so far this year. Triplets, except this one is all boys. Baby Nuts. Nuts. Yep. What you want to talk about? Okay, this video will be Oh Nuts. <laughs> oh Nuts, we had three boys. Thumbnail should be me and my You did such a good job. Come on. Come on. Oh. What a big girl. Who's this? Finley. Yeah. You're awake. <laughs> I was awake. What a surprise. Mr. Jumping. Is Bruin still sleeping? Fighting. Two long-looking babies. Three long-looking babies. It's a baby fight. Moira. Well, here they are. A few days later. Jimmy Jr. Everybody's doing good. Kelsey's actually had to milk out Fawn a little bit already because she's had a super nice udder. Mm -hmm. Here's the first one, the little troublemaker, aren't you?